All right, thanks, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Detroit Lions and the Atlanta Falcons. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards all told as he's taken down back shy of the 20. before he gets this across the 25-yard line. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Mike, 45. Hey, watch the slant. Watch the slant. Throwing on first down. Lawrence. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. and really gets them amped up as they go forward. Second and one. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. 
They'll run on first down. Swift. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Now that sends them two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Looking to throw on second down. Lawrence. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 44-yard line. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Check, 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 Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Man, man, smooth. 66, bullet high five. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. That's his longest run of the first quarter. And, Charles, we talked before the game about them needing to establish the run game. They'll be looking for more of that. And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. But it appears that when they want the big yardage, they think they can get to the outside and make it happen. Ready? 70, Indy. Three, two, 18, jump. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, check Mike 25. Check Mike 25. Who did it? Hey, Foxtrot, Foxtrot. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Hey, 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 61, match box, right. Hey, two. To throw again, Lawrence. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. TJ Hawkinson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Lions take it right down and score on the opening drive. Extra point good by Prater. And it's now a 7 0 game. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Off the bootleg, Fields. It's caught by Mike Evans. Matt, he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And it was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Early with a carry on first down. He'll only get a couple. Second and eight forthcoming. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size and these dimensions, 
I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Trey Flowers, the former Arkansas Razorback, in there to get him. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. He's going to let this go for the end zone. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Mike Evans. His second touchdown on the season as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. It's no secret that this is a team that's built on passing, but as you always tell me, you have to throw the run in there every now and then to keep that pass sharp. Yeah, you have to, because otherwise, if they never have to worry about running the football, it is just a controlled sprint to your quarterback, and eventually, you're calling on your backup quarterback. But they got to do better than that last go around. They went in the wrong direction. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. These two teams all tied after one. Come on, set. 60 Pittsburgh. Pilot, 64. Three. On third down, Swift, and they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Back to throw, Lawrence. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Looking to throw. Lawrence. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. You mentioned very early on the need to establish a running game for this young QB. They really haven't been able to do that, though, in the first half. So that means what in halftime? Adjustments, Adjustments time, right? Figure out what they are. Figure out the things that they really want to accomplish and who to run behind. Which are your better blockers? Find those guys and get in that direction. On second down, Swift. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. I got you. Switch. Switch. He's crashing. He's shot. Off play action. Lawrence. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. That close on third down, I think everybody probably expecting a run. Instead, they go to the air on third and short yardage. I realize this is a passing league, and they're liable to throw the ball on any down and distance. But that short, I do question the call. Run the football and pick it up. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. 
And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 27 yards, a big play there on fourth. This quarterback now, 9 of 11 passing in this first half. He's got his guys at first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Galladay's got it, and the Lions have a touchdown. Kenny Galladay, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Lions have taken the lead. Prater for the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's on it. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. So first and 10 now from the 30. Back to throw. Fields. He's going to air one out. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. But one thing's for sure, when you've got a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Fields. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll try and throw for it here. Polluting the pressure right. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. And he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. 14-7. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. On first down, Fields. He's going to dump it off to Gurley. It'll be a gain of six, and it's a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Second and four. And it's incomplete. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. 
I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. to throw again. Pressure from his right and he goes down hard. Flat on his back. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down on is the punter, Colby Wadman. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. offense ready to kick off their next drive it was still more than a minute to go in the half time to try to mount a drive and i would think that they would have to this is today's nfl you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity you could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face and analytics will tell you try and score when given the opportunity after the incompletion here's second and ten from the 20. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be upended after a gain of five up to the 25-yard line. 70, Indy. You draw Corker. Yeah, yeah. He tripped. He tripped. Looking to throw. Lawrence. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Ready? On first and ten, Lawrence. And he will find his man on the outside. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Off the play fake, Lawrence. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Again, he'll drop the throw. Open man is Galladay, complete. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist to the referee, and that means fourth down. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. On fourth down, Lawrence. He'll fire a desperation throw for the end zone, and that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons' offense at the line. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more. Going for Evans, but that pass is intercepted. Picked off at the 22. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway.
The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackled for a two-yard loss in the backfield. A loss of two there, second down. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to it. Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Off play action, Lawrence. Galladay's got it, and the Lions have a touchdown. Kenny Galladay with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Lions use the short field of their advantage as they cash in for six. Extra point good by Prater, and it's now 21-7. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. He goes full extension, and he's got it. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 43. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, you must have a lot of confidence, or you think you're really going to fake them out, and it looks like they did exactly that. Yeah, going deep in the playbook, and a great grab on the other end. Back to throw. Fields. And he finds Howard complete. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Throwing on first down. Fields. It's caught by Treadwell. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. I think it all came together there. In breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. On first and goal, Gurley. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it second and goal. At the six-yard line. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Todd Gurley, his fifth touchdown now on the year. As his guys are back within a single score. Extra point right down the middle. And they're back within a touchdown at 21-14. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. 
This is fielded at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Almost unstoppable on the ground there as that one is good for 39. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Off the play fake. Lawrence. Flush to his right. And his throw is incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Time to establish the run game here. Gurley. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Operating from the gun, Fields. He finds his target, it's Evans. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 44-yard line. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. From the gun, Fields. His throw incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And now it's second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Back to the air on second down. Fields. Oh, he's thinking end zone for Evans. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man, and you've got to trust yourself and go up in that moment of truth and make a play on the football. He's got Evans. I know you don't get anything extra for degree of difficulty, but maybe you should. He's done absolutely everything in this game today, including laying out for that one. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Todd Gurley, his second touchdown of the afternoon, as his guys are back within a single score. So he visits pay dirt for a second time, unfortunately. They're still down on the big board. And I wonder what's going through his mind right now. Playing hard, making big plays. That wasn't a, a small run by any stretch of the imagination either. To find the end zone for the second time, yet his team still down. They need more of that from him and a little help from the defensive guys.
The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Check 26, check 26. Shoot, shoot. 61, match box, light. Set, set. Check, check. Ready, ready. On first down, Swift. A nice little juke. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 11 yards there and a lion first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Lions holding onto the football. They also have the lead as we start quarter number four. Ready, ready. 60 or. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. At the 32-yard line. Set, ready? 30 base. 54. All right, two, that's it. All right, two. Shoot, shoot. Now a give right side. Swift. They find some open field here. 22 yards there, a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. 80 weapon. Showing it, showing it. Shoot. A first down carry here for Johnson. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. On second down now, Swift, and very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense, and they can add up as the game goes along. They control the clock, they control the ball, and that way you often control the game. From the gun on third down, Lawrence. He'll get this one to Galladay. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 26. Ready, ready. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Looking to throw, Lawrence. He's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four a week ago. And probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. My good friend, I'm just going to pose the question to you. Did that look like a pass that he should have thrown? Now, the rookie probably needs to be a little bit more careful in these situations. Yeah, that throw will turn him into a veteran quicker, but not in the way that he wants. He wants to learn his lessons by making good throws, not throws like that. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that will make this a nine-point lead. A big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, bled a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that. And when they... It got 
his man complete. It's a big play there for Atlanta. 44 yards. On first down, it's Gurley. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. To throw on second down, Fields. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. And twice in a row, the quarterback goes down. This offense needs two scores, not giving up two sacks. Watch tight, tight is right. Watch tight, tight is right. On fourth down, Fields. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. On the double. Hey, hang on. On the ball. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Find a man over the middle. It's Galladay. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Second and three. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Now, he's been a busy man out of the backfield. They've looked his way quite a bit so far in this game. Nice job there defensively, though, adjusting, because a couple of his earlier catches, he was wide open. Not that time. You mentioned the key word, adjustment. A better cover man on him now in space. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Back to throw. Lawrence. Galladay's got it, and the Lions have a touchdown. Kenny Galladay there to make the grab, and the Lions are able to extend their lead. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Operating from the gun, Lawrence, and this one's caught, and their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. It's almost a coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Trey Flowers giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's intercepted at the goal line. A great read, and it's picked off. And that will write a finish to this ball game. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> 
But I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for the Lions, they're on a nice early roll as they move to three and one with a win here. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, they'll sink now to 0-4. And, and they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in New Orleans against the Saints. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.